This is crazy. The deer are absolutely demolishing my brassicas right now. It's late August and it is just insane, the deer numbers and what they're doing to my brassicas right now. I mean, they are just mowing this stuff off and everywhere I look, there's deer tracks just churning this dirt up out here. It's kind of wild. Um, I'm gonna pull cards and see what we got for pictures back here, but they are in here so heavy. This is just wild. A little bit too wild and crazy though because I'm not gonna have any brassicas left here. I mean, in two weeks at this rate, there's gonna be nothing left. They're gonna have my brassica plot down to the dirt before the season even opens, which is not a good thing. So I am in resuscitation mode right now for my food plot. We gotta rehab this thing fast. I can't leave it like this because there's gonna be nothing left come fall. So here's my game plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out 100 pounds per acre of winter rye grain over top of this right now. Like I say, it's kind of mid to late August. And then I'm gonna wait a week or two and I'm gonna give it another um, 50 to 100 pounds in a week or two. I'll kind of monitor this first batch to see how it's coming up. Uh, you know, as far as dragging it or disking it in, I'm gonna leave these brassicas that you guys see here behind me. I'm just gonna seed right over top of these brassicas with my Earthway hand spreader here. Um, I think that's gonna work. We actually got rain coming tonight and tomorrow. It looks like a really high chance of it. Some of you guys are gonna chuckle when I say this, but I think given the amount of deer pressure out here right now, there are tracks over this entire thing. I think their hooves are gonna act like hundreds of little cultipackers to press that rye seed down into the dirt. All right, so here's what we got right here. Um, this is one of the bags of rye. I'm gonna start with this one. And it's about six weeks before our average first frost date, which um, in Northern Minnesota is uh, around September 20th, um, depending on which site you look at. But when I went to the co-op and picked this stuff up, the guy behind the counter didn't really know when I asked him, is this winter rye grain? not rye grass. I, I, wa I wanted to make that distinction clear to the guy. He didn't really know. He said he's pretty sure this was rye grain, but I wanted to be totally positive. And so when I looked at the tag on this thing, I could see that it was a bushel of rye. It just says rye non-stated. And I wanted to be positive this was rye grain, not rye grass. So I did a little bit of research and learned that one bushel of rye grain weighs 56 pounds exactly and one bushel of rye grass weighs, I think it was 26 pounds. So there's a huge difference in the weight of the bushel unit. So what I did was I just stood on a bathroom scale and weighed myself. Then I picked a bag up and weighed that and it was 56 pounds. And then I looked a little bit closer and it says right on this bag that it's 56 pounds. <laughs> so I did a little bit extra work there, but if you guys are curious or wanna be sure that it's rye grain, not rye grass, Check that wave. you guys it's been about a week and a half since I put out my first round of winter rye that was hundred pounds per acre that I did uh, nine or ten days ago now and I got an update for you here it's pretty exciting what I'm seeing over here um, this winter rye that I put out uh, has started to take it's it's germinated we got some good rain and I was a little bit worried because I what you know I had no way of raking this in or dragging it uh, because I just overseeded all my brassicas with it and those seeds were just laying there on the soil and this rye grain It's a big seed, you know, it's not like a, a little brassica seed those things are smaller and rounder These things are pretty big. So they're just laying there on the surface. Well, I have been extremely pleased to see um, All these little shoots right here I can see a whole bunch of them right from where I'm sitting and this was just 100 pounds per acre now I'm grabbing another 
uh, 100 pounds per acre here and that's what I'm doing today. Uh, today is August 22nd and we have two more shots of rain coming it looks like this week, one tomorrow night and then another like three day event it looks like this coming weekend up here in northern Minnesota and so I'm gonna get another 100 pounds per acre down on the ground here today uh, and that will be that will bring my food plot to 200 pounds per acre out here so for me 100 pounds per acre that's three bags each bag is a bushel it's 56 pounds so I've got about 1.6 acres of brassicas here and that'll be about perfect for me on this food plot now looking at how these plants are already coming up so good I think very quickly here the deer are going to be able to start shifting pressure off of my brassicas and onto this winter rye. I'm really happy with how this stuff has taken here, even just laying on top of the ground, not raked in. Uh, I was kind of holding my breath there, you guys, because looking at my brassica plot right now and the shape that these plants are in, these are not gonna make it till the rut, till November. Um, at this point, I can see that I, I think I'll have some tonnage out here of brassicas by the bowl opener on September, it's the 17th or 18th, somewhere in there. Um, but I, I don't think that this is gonna last, the brassicas, until fall, uh, till the rut. So that's why having this rye out here is such a big deal and I was holding my breath because if this rye wasn't gonna work, there was a very good chance I may not have had a food plot this fall. I do wanna talk a little bit about uh, when that rye was just laying there on the surface, it was amazing. Uh, I could I came out here you know three four or five days later after we had a rain and all of this rye seed on the surface had a little white root it was real furry looking and it's like that that root was able to just crack out of that seed crawl out onto the ground and just work its way into the dirt it was really kind of amazing um, I'm in I'm in complete sand country here okay you can about imagine um, what my soils are like here but this winter rye is incredible. It found a way to just sort of crawl on the ground and go down in. And now all these plants are just shooting up uh, actual plants above ground now, which is just beautiful. So I'm, I'm a believer now in this method. So we can call this the layering rye method, um, what Jeff Sturgis preaches and talks about. And I, I gotta give credit where credit's due. And this was um, an idea I have adopted from uh, Jeff so uh, as of now it appears to be working so I'm gonna have a whole bunch of rye out here that's you know a week and a half older than this next round today it's gonna be really interesting to see how uh, you know are the deer gonna shift their attention onto the rye from the brassicas onto the rye are they gonna just stay on the brassicas and just keep pounding those things it's gonna be really interesting I'll I'll be sure to keep you guys um, in the loop on what the results are but in the meantime here um, I'm gonna get my my hand spreader rocking let's get some more seed ran out All right, you guys, I just wrapped up my second round of rye seed. That was another, it was just under 170 pounds that I put out here today. If you guys have appreciated the effort I put into this video or got anything out of it, I do ask a small favor that you click that thumbs up button. Uh, think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And if you're into, into videos like this, I try to put them out weekly. So this is gonna work, you guys, this, this rye uh, plot salvage. Um, I think this is gonna save my brassicas. I, I'm really confident. I'm gonna sleep well tonight knowing that this is gonna work. If you guys have a plot where you're at that's been demolished by deer, maybe flooded out or eroded, um, think about this last minute rye salvage. Uh, you know, this stuff, uh, it germinates cold, it grows in the cold, and it stays green longer than almost anything else. So I can't wait to see how that works for me this fall. I hope your guys' plans are coming together. The hunting season is almost here. Shoot me a message down in the chat. Let me know what's going on where you're at. And until next time, you guys, take care.